This is Mac from jlptbootcamp.com here with another N5 grammar lesson. This time I'm going to go over itsu, ikura, and ikutsu. And um, so the situation is that you are visiting Japan and you're visiting your, your uh, Japanese friend in Japan. You've been in Japan for a while. So you go out, uh, you journey out to the, the local market to do some shopping. And you bump into um, Oji-san here and you ask him, Konnichiwa, kono ringu wa ikura desu ka? And you want to know how much is this apple? And he replies, hyako en desu. Oishi yo. And he says, uh, it's 100 yen uh, and it's very delicious. Oishi. He's, he's trying to sell his apples here. And uh, you're using ikura. And this is a question word that you use to ask about the cost of something or, or amounts. But very often, almost um, exclusively, it's used to ask about how much something is or how much money you have. Um, usually it's used for money. So, it, but you can use it to ask about amounts, but at this N5 level, um, you won't probably see it um, used that way. So it's almost always used to ask about money. And this structure here is uh, topic plus wa, which is the topic marker, marking particle, plus ikura deska. Um, topic is the item that you want to know the price of. So, uh, for example, it was the kono ringo, so this apple, um, or anything that you want to know the price of. You can even point at something and say kore wa uh, ikura deska if you're at a stand or something to know get the to, to know what the price is of a certain item. And you can also use this different, a slightly different structure here that you can see below um, to ask about this pencil. You can ask. Uh, en pitsu wa nihon de ikura desu ka? In this situation, you're asking about the price of two pencils. Um, that second word there, uh, nihon de, so nihon, um, hon is the counter for long cylindrical objects like a pencil. Um, ni, which is two, so nihon is uh, two uh, pencils, um, the counter for two pencils. And de is uh, talking about like a, the method or with. So how much is the price, um, kind of literally translated, it's how much is this pencil with two? Um, so you can use this to ask about um, two objects, three objects, you can just put a counter in there uh, right before ikura. Now, in um, spoken Japanese, you might hear this day dropped um, a few times. So if you're used to hearing um, Japanese, if you're picking it up in conversation, um, they might drop the day particle. So you could actually say, in pizza wa nihon ikura desu ka? Um, to, if, you're, if you're talking, you might hear that. Because um, you'll notice in, in actual Japanese, uh, a lot of particles are dropped um, when people are talking because things can be just kind of understood from context. But the, the correct Japanese is to use day with the counter there. So moving on, um, you want to buy the apple. So you say, Hitotsu kudasai. One, please. Um, uh, Oji-san replies, Arigato, doko kara kimashita ka? He wants to know, where are you from? And you reply, America desu. I'm from, uh, I'm from America. And he asks, Itsu nihon ni kimashita ka? Uh, and uh, when did you come to Japan? And your reply is, suyobi desu. Uh, Wednesday. So, um, he, these are very common questions, by the way. Usually when you meet someone in Japan, they'll almost always ask you, what country are you from? Um, and they'll sometimes ask you when you came to Japan, um, just as general conversation um, item. So, but um, the Oji-san here, he is using itsu, and this is just the general question word for when. Um, so, for example, itsu, um, action, so if you want to know when a particular action happened or is going to happen, um, you can use this structure. So that action can be in present ten tense or past tense, um, depending on you know, when, uh, what, what um, you want to ask about. If you want to ask about the, the past, if you want to ask about um, an everyday thing, or if you want to ask about the future, you can use the same structure. Um, so for example, uh, here, you can ask, itsu shigoto ni ikimasu ka? So, um, depending on the situation, this could mean, when do, you, um, when do you go to work? 
as in generally every day, when do you go to work? You can also um, imply when are you going to go to work? Um, it, it, it depends on the situation when you're going to ask it. Um, if in general conversation, it could mean uh, when do you usually go to work, but if it's in the morning or something and you are um, getting ready to go to work, someone might ask you, itsu shigoto ni ikimasu ka? When are, when, uh, when are you going to go to work? Um, and again, this uh, is kind of an um, interesting structure there. Shigoto ni is uh, the place. We can usually use the ni with... Um, a verb of motion, ikimasu or kimas, t- as a structure to mean like go and do this thing. So, for example, another example would be kaimono ni ikimasu. So, kaimono is shopping, um, and ni, and ni ikimasu, so go shopping, um, is that structure there. So, anyway, to finish off the conversation, uh, Oji-san asks, uh, um, replies, ah, so desu ka? Ikutsu desu ka? And you reply, atete kudasai. Now he's, um, ah, so desu ka is, oh, I see. And then ikutsu desu ka, he's asking, how old are you? And when I'm usually asked this question, I usually, to kind of keep the conversation going, I say, atete kudasai. Atete is um, the te form of ateru, which is to guess. So basically this means, please guess, please guess my age. Um, I usually use this, it's, I guess it's kind of a jerky thing to do, but um, for me it kind of helps the conversation keep going instead of just saying my age and then the conversation dies. So if I say, then they can guess and then you know we can have a little bit of a conversation. Oh really, you think I'm that old or you think I'm that young, thank you. Um, and it keeps the conversation kind of going. So, um, and, and don't be surprised that someone asks you your age because there's not really a a stigmatism against asking someone's age in Japan. So it's, uh, it's I don't want to say it's common, but it does come up a lot. Um, so uh, going back to uh, this question word, ikitsu, uh, ikitsu, ikutsu is uh, asking about age or the number of items. Um, it usually has this form, topic, plus wa, wa is the, the topic marking particle again, ikutsu desu ka. Now, in the previous conversation, there wasn't a topic there because it's understood from the conversation that he is asking about uh, you. But if it can't be understood from the conversation, you do need to drop in that topic there. Usually, uh, wa contains, um, often contains some information, the topic that can probably be understood from context, but the speaker has added it in to make the sentence clearer. Or um, if you haven't talked about the, the topic before, uh, they would add that in. So um, you can use this also to ask about the number of items. So ask about age and also the number of items. For example, braku wa ikutsu arimasu ka? So um, how many blocks are there in the tub, for example? Um, braku is the... The building blocks uh, marked with wa, the topic marking particle. Ikutsu is how many um, objects. And arimasu is are there. Ka, of course, is the question marking particle. So you might be wondering here um, the difference between ikura and ikutsu. Because um, if you practice these with, uh, for example, um, with preset flashcards or with an Anki deck or... um, just see them in a book or something, you might see ikura translated as how much or how many and ikutsu as how many or how much um, sometimes. And so it's not really clear how these are used um, because they generally kind of have a a very narrow use. Ikura is usually used for amounts, um, prices, uh, and it's almost always used for money. It's used for some other things as well, but um, again, at the N5 level, it's probably going to be asked, to, it's probably going to be used to ask about money. Um, and some people say it comes from dochira. Um, it probably doesn't, but it's easy to, it helps you kind of remember how it's used. Dochira is um, kind of soft and more general, so not a, a specific amount, and that's kind of what ikura is. It, it's you're asking, when you do use it to ask for amounts, it's not a very uh, specific amount, um, not something that's clearly countable. 
Um, and of course that doesn't really hold up too much for prices because that's an exact amount. But um, you can kind of um, understand it to mean that it's a little bit softer to ask this way instead of asking um, you know, very clearly like, what amount of money are you, is this item? So ikura is a softer way to ask for the price. Um, if it, that's how I remember it, at least. It's related to, to uh, dochira. Now, ikutsu, some people say that this is related to hitotsu, futatsu, and mitsu. These, um, these counters, these generic counters that are used to count for, um, other objects that don't have counters. And it's usually used for age, of course, but it's also used for things um, with smaller pieces and things that you would use the, these um, counters, these tsu counters, hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu. Um, so it's easier to um, think of it in that sense. It's how many, um, and you do use it for how many, but it's for things that don't have regular counters. For things that do have regular clear counters for them, uh, you can use um, nani, which becomes nan before the, the counter, if you kind of smash these together. So for example, nan sai, uh, nan is what, and sai is age or year. So how old, basically, how, um, how many years are you? Um, nan hon is how many cylindrical objects you have, hon being the counter for cylindrical objects. The last one there, mai, is the counter for um, sheets of paper, flat um, items. So non mai is how many sheets of paper you have. So if, if something does have a clear counter for it, it's usually non plus the counter to ask about how many of something there is. All right, let's uh, wrap this up with a quick uh, pop quiz. Can you translate this sentence? When is the meeting? When is the meeting? Answer would be kaigi wa itsu desu ka? Kaigi is a meeting, itsu is when. And next one, how much is this shirt? How much is this shirt? Answer would be kono shatsu wa ikure desu ka? Kono is this, shatsu is shirt, wa is the topic marking particle, and ikure is asking about how much, how much the, is the price. Last one, how many rooms are there? For example, if you're asking about someone's house, you know, how many rooms um, does it have? Does the house have? How many rooms are there in the house? Um, asking about how many rooms are there? And the answer would be, heya wa ikutsu arimasu ka? Heya is the uh, room, wa is a topic marking particle, ikutsu is how many um, items, arimas is are there. So, real quick review, ikura is used to ask about amounts, how much of something. Itsu is to ask about uh, when, it's basically the translation of when. Uh, ikutsu is to ask about age or number of items that are countable with hitotsu, futatsu, and mitsu. Um, and so the difference here, ikura is um, used almost always for price at the N5 level. Ikutsu is used for age. And it's also used for things with the generic counters, hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu. Non is used for everything else that you want to ask how many of that have regular counters. Um, non sai, non hon, non mai. And that's it for this uh, lesson this, um, this month. If you know someone that is studying for the N5 exam, I'm sure they would find this uh, video helpful. Be sure to uh, send this video along to them and help them out. All right, until next time, uh, have a good time studying. This has been a grammar explanation video from the JLPT Bootcamp Premium site. Inside the site, you will find some extra goodies, for example, some cheat sheets for all of the videos. And those cheat sheets include, include a few things, for example, some uh, common mistakes that people make, uh, as well as some example test questions for the JLPT. If you're interested in taking the JLPT and you uh, want that extra edge, something to kind of push you um, above and get the points that you need to pass, I encourage you to stop by the website uh, at uh, jlptbootcamp.com forward slash premium. There you can find the cheat sheets as well as some extra practice with the grammar points uh, that uh, I've been talking about today. Hope to see you in the uh, premium site very soon. This has been Mac from jlptbootcamp.com.